Hey, how's it going out there, guys? It's just a quick overview. I, I had to use the word review because I don't want to. I'm not critiquing this film in any way. Just uh, kind of giving an overview and uh, letting you know, you know, my feelings about this and uh, and you know what I thought. But anyway, enough of that. Um. So yeah, uh, read about this film a few times. Heard a few quotes about it, different things. It's a thriller, a cruel picture, or uh, also known as, I do believe they call her One Eye. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a 70s exploitation film, very unique. Um, this is the limited edition, which is the fully uncut version, uh, which has uh, you know some uh, hardcore porn spliced in with uh, some of the footage. But uh, it's pretty neat how they did it. Basically, to give you the rundown of the story, uh, this uh, film focuses on a girl who, when she was uh, pretty small, not sure what age, but uh, probably, you know, five or six, maybe at the most eight, uh, was raped by a, a, a basically a, a crazy bum uh, in a park. And uh, it traumatized her so badly she became mute. Uh, she just never really spoke again. But, uh, basically, she gets drawn in with this character, uh, basically the guy you see, you know, right there on top of her, um, who <clears throat> drugs her and, uh, purposely gets her addicted to heroin and starts whoring her out to, uh, these different guys. Well, eventually, she kind of snaps and starts spending all of her spare time learning stunt driving and learning how to shoot and learning martial arts and and all this stuff biding her time while still being you know a, a prostitute you know forced into being a prostitute and uh eventually she just goes on a uh killing rampage killing uh anyone and everyone that gets in her way to uh to get her revenge on this man for doing these horrible things to her and uh one of the, the most striking sequences in the picture is what you see with uh, the man on top of her. Uh, he cuts out her eye with a, uh, a scalpel, and uh, basically for disobeying him in some you know minor way. But uh, it's really controversial because the scene in which the eye gets cut out uh, has, from what I can, you know, from what I read, has been confirmed that it was a uh, cadaver they paid uh, a mortuary or morgue or whatever to go in and uh, take a a fresh body of a, of a girl who was a supposed suicide and uh, do some close-up shots of stabbing her eyeball with a uh, a scalpel and it's uh, it's it's pretty nasty it's I mean it's not it, it's just like all real violence is it's not what you would expect from it but to know that in your mind when you're watching it that it, that it was the real deal is uh is pretty wild so but uh yeah for for people who are fans of uh stuff like this 70s uh you know exploitation films and, and whatnot this one's pretty extreme it's pretty good though really really enjoyed it um to go to some of the special features uh and read off some of this stuff here it's uh it's got a new 16x9 anamorphic transfer. It's an uncut, uncensored version with uh, all the sex and gore. Uh, original Swedish language and uh, English dub options. Optional English subtitles. Uh, extensive still galleries of rare behind-the-scenes photos, including many candid nude photos of uh, Christina Lindbergh on set. Uh, original TV spot and theatrical trailers. Outtakes alternate harbor fight sequence reconstructed from rare vault materials uh, thriller a cruel lab mistake rare photos detailing an unusual fight sequence ruined by the film lab during production uh, thriller the story and pictures uh, actor director filmographies and chapter selections um, down here at the bottom it says this film contains scenes of explicit sexual content nudity graphic violence and drug addiction for sale to persons 18 years of age or older only. Let me let me look inside real quick. I can't remember if I can show you the inside or not. Yeah, I can show you the inside. I can't show you the picture 
on the other side of the chapter inserts because I'm pretty sure there's some nudity there. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to aim this away for a second. Hmm. Yeah, okay, there's the back. Uh, it's got, you know, just the synapse stuff. And then, okay. Let me show you the inside. I'll just cover it up real quick. But, uh, yeah, basically it's got like a little booklet here kind of detailing the piece. Talking about some different things inside and, and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, anyway. Good stuff, as always. But, yeah, got this for a pretty decent price. Uh, checked into it before I bought it. I, was, I had my Blackberry with me, so I started, you know, looking it up online to see how much it ran. And uh, this cost me 15 bucks used. It's in, uh, like, new condition. It's, uh, the disc is mint, so I thought that was pretty cool find. But, yeah, I just uh, found this picture intriguing enough to try to sit down and do a little, you know, overview, review, slash, you know, whatever. Uh, if I had to give it, you know, uh, a uh, out of five stars, I, I'd give it about three. Um, you know, just on uh, just on shock factor and and grittiness alone. I mean, this is, you know, you could tell an extremely low budget picture, but uh, you know, a lot of times, in my opinion, that's uh, that's the best kind. You know, it makes the makes the artist really work for what they're trying to achieve and uh, put some heart and soul into it instead of being lazy like uh, most films today. But yeah, uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the overview, review, whatever. Um, try to do more of these more often, and uh, you know, hope to see you guys again. All right, later.